Hi, welcome back to the channel today. My name is Cannibal Hair. Thanks for stopping by. Hit that like button down below because this video is going to help you. And also hit that subscribe button below to see my upcoming tutorials or uh, some game captures that I'll be doing. Uh, some pretty high titles out there. So, and some new coming releases from the Steam Early Access. Anyways, let's get into this tutorial. We are setting up the X mouse controls today and we are going to add, add an application to the program itself so right here you want to go in the bottom right hand corner open up your X button go to setup once you got that open we're waiting for this to open up and we're gonna add a profile as you can see we have a bunch of profiles for a bunch of games here already but we're gonna add a new one we're gonna go to add button here and we're gonna look for we have the new pix art game installed we just got that from today so if you want to see any upcoming videos onto that as well hit that subscribe button because i will be posting a couple videos on that so we found the exe file and we want our mouse buttons to be one of them to be inventory so we're going to go here and we're going to run simulated keys and we're going to click i for here and we're going to go to this is where you program either if you want the sticky function or a repeat function or kind of like a different kind of function if you want the button to be pressed only when you click it and let go and then you have to click it again and let go to get it unpressed so right now we're just going to get it to function as a regular key and that's going to be during press on down and release on up so that when i press down it's going to press the i key and when i release it's going to release it pretty simple there's other uh, modifiers you could use down here below that you could uh, have some kind of funky funky situations or combinations going on in there but we're not going to get into that today so we're going to just make sure that we have an i we have three as a regular function of a key click ok and we're going to click apply here we're going to jump into our game we're going to have to um let's let's do this here game capture we have to jump back into our game and uh, make sure this goes as i so our button seems to be working as before it used to say thumb mouse button one now we got the other button that says two so we're going to go back into our recording and we're going to go back into here and we're going to customize another button as well so we're going to do i for that button i think what else can we do what, what do we want that button to be we could be oh what do we want that button to be we got inventory we got other access inventory so that i think that i think we're going to keep it like that because we're not quite sure but you could add multiple functions to different buttons you could even override the different uh left and right button and you could also do a different layering too as well so that's uh, always good to know uh other than that yes that's it so my name is cannibal hair hit that like button down below smash that like button down below because i know this video helped you and once again my name is cannibal hair signing off